Welcome to Automation's official design competition. In this video you are joining us for the finals of Category G, the history of the pickup truck. Your hosts Chris and Rob are joined by today's special guest and judge Conedodger240. He's a long time Automation and BeamNG streamer and has been a friend of Automation and its community and the devs for many years. Also he's the editor of these videos. For those of you who would like to see a more in-depth analysis of the finalist designs as well as an interview with our special guest, join us for our roundtable discussion in our next video. But for now, 10 cars out of the 47 entries have made it through the pre-selection process and into these finals. Let's get into it. Three wheels of pure utility. Okay, a little sloppy here and there, but overall a great build. The mix of fonts though. Next time just use Comic Sans straight up so we know you're trolling us. I love this representation of the Asian delivery truck three-wheeler. Really impressive work here, creating that trike front end for what I'm sure was a drastically different four-wheeled body. This is the quintessential late 1980s, early 1990s American pickup truck. From the tasteful paint job to the nice details throughout, I really quite like this and it reminds me very much of the trucks that I saw when I was growing up. This truck really represents the average utility truck that roamed the streets of my childhood. Mixed with those classic grandpa spec lines and accessories, it does a pretty authentic job of that, but I feel like the proportions are maybe a touch too modern. Hmm, I heard you like brown. Well, depends. Not really like this. Such a weird sports utility meme dichotomy going on with the hood scoop and the various decals. Doesn't quite work for me. If this was a contest for the best design truck topper, this would be a clear winner. Aside from that, it's a little bit of a jumbled design on the truck that makes you question different eras and different motives, but the, the topper itself is a true star here.
Don't be fooled, this is basically a muscled car with a bed in the back. With great presence and fantastic details throughout, I really quite like this design, and I kind of wish there were more of these on the road. Party in the front, business in the back? Yes, yeah, the Elko styled entry, which has a little bit of that like inverse mullet feel. I wish the party was all the way around though, because the front end design is super impressively muscular. I just wish that could have continued through the whole thing. This is a very early compact pickup truck, and it's generally very nicely done. The wood bed rails are a very nice touch, but I really don't know that the front really is very consistent with the rest of the vehicle. There's something that just feels a little bit off about it. This design really feels like it's coming in from all over the place but somehow manages to all really work well together. It looks like it was a crafted piece. This is some really strong use of 3D fixtures and making them blend to a stock automation body beautifully. What an ugly and excellently designed car. A lecture in design consistency and being thorough with a style. I just wonder if the person choosing orange for those rear window lines maybe had a few too many lines themselves. This entry truly hurts me how much I enjoy it, because it's a true masterclass of nailing a certain era of look without looking like something that actually existed in the world, which I think is one of the hardest things to do in a design challenge. It's just a particularly rough era of automotive design for sure. This is an absolutely fantastic compact pickup truck. From the choice of color to the great little details all throughout the design in every corner and every aspect of it, I really quite like this. It's an absolutely wonderful design. Well done. So this is really simple utility truck style here that 
Bear is a design that, at, at your first glance, doesn't give a lot of detail, but the more you look at it, there's actually a great level of attention to detail, especially if you look into the bed and just the overall way the front end was shaped. It's a simple design with a lot of great features. All right, all right, come on. This off-road utility build just nails its archetype. Looks like right out of an 80s action movie with obligatory exploding barrels and proper badass car chases. This one is ready for it. Great design. Some people might find it confusing why this truck is really, really impressive to me. But the fact of the matter is, this truck perfectly pulls off that 80s sports truck style just in every single way, while somehow still pulling off a unique look, and I'm very impressed by that. This entry is basically a sports car turned into a pickup truck. This looks like it'd be just as happy ripping off incredible lap times as it is hauling bales of hay. There are a few a little inconsistencies here and there that do take away from the design and I really do question the size of the doors for the passenger compartment. Very, very small. This is probably one of the most out there entries we've seen in the truck finals. The design is stunning and it just pulls at all of my heartstrings. I just don't know that this particular moment in truck's history ever actually happened. Even if it maybe should have. I do want to like it, but it's so damn generic, modern slush, and also it looks like clay. I can't really fault the overall design for it, which is competent. It works! This one was particularly challenging for me to judge. It's a perfect execution of the targeted era that they're going for here. It's just also just so gut-wrenchingly awful in design language, but that's because that's exactly the era of truck they were designing. This is what trucks have become. This is what trucks are, and it does a phenomenal job of representing that.
And there we have it. Big congratulations goes to Maverick74 for the winning design, to Belobilox for a close second place and to Lemmy K Brinkwood for a third place. For a more in-depth analysis of today's finalists, as well as an interview with our special guest, join us for our roundtable discussion in the next video. Also, subscribe to the channel and check out the competition playlist to not miss any of the fantastic and questionable designs that we showcase. Let us know what you thought of the featured designs in the comments below and visit the Automation Game Instagram channel where you can vote for your favorite finalist in our story.